What's up guys? Welcome to the first episode of Insights and my name is Millicent. This is a show where I interview various talented people from all over the world. Today I have with me upcoming fast rising star MGs. Hello. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm cool. It's a pleasure to have you here. Yeah, the pleasure is the same. Okay. How are you doing today? <laughs> My day has been great. My nerves. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and um, can you tell us a little about your background? Uh, okay, basically, my name is Chinedu. That's my native name. Then my English name is Murphy. That's where the name MGs came from. Mm -hmm. Grew up in Nigeria. Uh, secondary University Education, but currently doing my master's here in Coventry University in England. Yeah. And started singing way back 2002. Well, as a kid then. Professionally, I would say 2007. Yeah, I've had a couple of videos, a couple of shows in Africa, and even here in the United Kingdom. Oh, that's awesome! So yeah. you you're, 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 you seem to be doing very good for yourself right now. Yeah, like fast rising, as I said earlier. Yeah, yeah, we're getting there. You know, it's basically one step at a time. Yeah, I agree with there. you. Yeah, when and why did you start playing? Uh, I started. <laughs> I think I fell in love with music in '96. Oh. When I first uh, listened to Michael Jackson. How old were you then? Ah, uh, that's a bit tricky. But I think I was seven. Ooh, that's yeah, a long time ago. That's then. a way, way, way long time ago. And I heard Michael Jackson and then I was like, cool. I fell in love with Michael. Started learning how to sing, how to be an artist. Then started playing the guitar 2011. I think I fell in love with guitar, but I'm trying to get myself to learn it. Okay, because I've, I've, um, I think I've listened to you play the guitar. Mm -hmm. I have, because I watched your um, music video with yeah. um, skills. Yeah. And I, when I watched it, I, I wouldn't have guessed that you've been playing since 2011. I'd have probably guessed like you've been playing longer than that because you seem to handle it very well. Yeah, yeah. I think back then when I did uh, the song I did with skills in Nigeria, uh, I was into the Afro beat, but then. I had to switch. That was even the particular year I picked up the guitar and said, okay, fine. I have to start learning how to play this and take it to the next step. Okay, so how many singles do you have? Uh, officially, I would say three. Oh, that's nice. With the videos, yeah. Yeah, and um, are you looking forward to releasing an album? Uh, I, ha I have a first album that is on iTunes. Oh, a debut album, yeah. yeah. I had a debut album. It didn't really do well commercially, but we sold out on tour oh, because I had wow. a tour around West African countries. Oh, impressive! Yeah, I had to add the business part of it, not just looking at the commerce. I had to go to some different places to play and then cash in. Okay, yeah, that's awesome. And um, during your tour, what cities did you visit in West Africa? Uh, I was at Accra, then Lagos, of course. Yeah, of course. And then went to Cotonou. Oh, well, you most of them. Oh, yeah, Nigeria. yeah, Accra, Ghana. Lagos, Nigeria, then play somewhere in Asabatu in Nigeria. Okay. So basically the target was the people that listen to my kind of music because the music we do in Africa is different. It's still wonderful, but it's different from what I I represent. So, oh yeah. Yeah. And um, do you play any other instruments apart from the guitar? I, I whistle. <laughs> instrument. You you know other you know some other uh, musicians yeah. name their guitars. Do you have a name for your guitar? Yeah, this is Victoria. Oh, nice. <laughs> She's <the> Royal Highness. <laughs> She's like That's wife. awesome, awesome. And um, you said you you mentioned earlier that you're a student at Coventry University. Yeah, yeah, I'm studying uh, MBA International Business. Okay. Yeah, I just recently kicked off the program, so. Oh. Wishing you all the best. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so, how do you balance music with your um, uni life? Uh, I think for me, music is more of a way of life. So, it's more like I go back home after school, I pick up the guitar, and we make sweet love. Yeah. She's my girlfriend. <laughs> and yeah. you know, when you're making love, you discuss some other issues, and then a new song comes out, you write it down. Yeah. You know. Mm, yeah, I've, I'm feeling your vibe right now. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. <laughs> and I know um, everyone goes through these moments when we all feel like we want to give up, or like you're just tired of everything, like, oh, I'm done. Like moments like that, what pushes you? What motivates you? I think uh, I've had so many of those moments. But what keeps me going is 
thinking about the previous success yeah and how far i've come because they will keep coming it's just for you to stand and keep pushing you know and every stage doesn't repeat itself let's say the stage i had three years ago when i i meet it now and i know what to do i know how to what uh strategy to apply in such so you keep challenge. getting better yeah and it better. keeps getting better you keep getting yeah. more matured and, wise. and then you, when you make mistakes you try yeah to mistakes are needed I, I sometimes look for challenges yeah pushes me to the next level so um for example if you're playing the guitar like um do you do shows do i or gigs shows yeah, yeah, yeah 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 i play gigs and it depends back in nigeria I had few gigs where I had to use the guitar, like I had a show in Terracultural, alongside Bears and Daratila Day, where I had to sing with my guitar. But here in England, most of the shows I've been to, like some of the gigs they've held, I play the guitar basically. Okay, so um, when you're playing, how do you handle mis How do you handle your mistakes? Uh, as I said, she's my girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so with her, there's no maybe if it's someone else's guitar, yeah, it could happen. But we had don't get to make exactly. mistakes. Oh, that's that's nice. She that corrects you, me. You, you probably practice a lot then. See? Yeah, yeah. It's more of the connection. Yeah. I won't say I'm the best guitarist. I won't even say I'm up there yet. But it's more of the connection I have with my girlfriend Victoria. Mm. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. So, um, which musicians do you consider to be your role model? Uh, that differs in so many ways because in Africa, I would look at people like Two Face, oh. Asha. Yeah, Aisha is a good one because yeah, she plays she's the guitar wonderful. as well. Yeah, Neka, she also plays the guitar. Mm. And then, funny enough, P-Square. Yeah, I think I'm feeling your genre of music right now. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, that's, I think um, those, they are more of soul artists. Yeah, if yeah. I'm right? <laughs> yeah, I think most times they do uh, soul. Sometimes they add a little bit of pop to it. Yeah. But basically, classical music. Music mm. that could stay and stand the test of time. Yeah, true, true, true. And um, for how long do you practice, like, with your girlfriend? <laughs> uh, I won't call myself a guitarist, more of a singer or anything like that. So it's not like I dedicate time to practice. Oh. What I do is, I pick up this. I might be sleeping at night and then I wake up around one or two and I feel like there's this tune I have in my head. I'll call her and then we'll discuss about it by playing her. <laughs> and then the song is out, you know. So it's not yeah. like I say, okay, I'm going to practice. I want to be better than somebody mm. but no it's just yeah like, oh you just want to be the best version of yourself then. yeah 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 it's more like me myself and how i push it to the world yeah okay so what motivated you to start mm, uh i think the situation in africa now yeah is actually giving me a different motivation with the style of music i finally uh decided to do because when i was doing afro beats it's kind of all fun all let's dance and all that but now i'm trying to see whether i could make a change yeah you know, live like some of my role models the western role models like michael jackson bob Marley. if i could do a little bit of what they did to create a change that would be nice you know sing about what's really happening and all that i also think about love a lot you know oh okay mm. so like you're you're a r&b musician. musician uh no i won't i'm not an r&b musician so I, always you know, you I, do, <laughs> I do pop let me leave it at pop because pop there there's no much rules to pop yeah with r&b at first i wanted to be an r&b singer i was following usher raymond and his voice was too good <laughs> <laughs> i have to admit i just kept trying and trying and everybody that was around me that sang then always made it look like for you to be a singer you have to have this kind of melodious voice you have to do this and you have to do that but that's not what it's all about when i listen to asha and dara Tlade and two Face. i don't have to hit so many keys to, yeah. to be wonderful so i decided to switch to pop oh yeah yeah <laughs> that's nice that's nice so um what advice would you give to um people that are struggling or people that are trying to start up uh the first advice i would like to give is everybody will say okay keep doing it so, but the first advice i would like to give is start you know just start just start <laughs> and they can walk away from there yeah because if i stayed back and i'm like uh i have to wait for something to be perfect it's never perfect it's perfect it's never going to be perfect yeah you're never gonna have that one million us dollars or one million pounds yeah but when you start with what you have and you believe in your dreams and you just keep pushing it mm. you learn a lot the story is what makes makes success 
what it is. It's not mm. about the success yeah. itself. I admit. I yeah. agree with you. And uh, you mentioned earlier that you do shows and gigs. Yeah. How do we find you? Uh, I have a website. Um, okay. And I'm on the whole social network. I'm like a social network freak. Okay. I'm on Facebook and on Instagram. You could add me by searching MG's official. Okay. Twitter MG's official. Then my website is www.mgsonline.com. Okay. That's where you could actually book. Nice. For me to come you, you sound really established. I like that. Okay, guys. Now for the next bit, I'll be playing a game with MGs where he has to play a turn and I have to guess it. So stay tuned. Welcome back. And right now, I'll be asking MGs to play any tune for me and I have to guess it. So, are you ready? Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's go. Yeah, uh, play something. It's gonna be a little difficult for you, I guess, but I believe you answer this. <laughs> Don't do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did not remember this song, I just had to sing it. <laughs> Can you do another one? Okay, but I gave you a clue then. That's what I'm not gonna give mm, you. Yeah. Clue. Okay. Uh... What would I do yeah, I yeah, yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's really nice, you got that, okay. Mm. Okay, another one. Okay. This from some art 2003. Let me know uh, what I left in a lot of my Nigerian songs then. If I could run away, oh, stop first, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, let me play something else, okay. Like two, two. Yeah. You got two, and then you felt like I just have yeah. to make it really hard for you. Okay. Okay, that was awesome. <laughs> now we'll be having a live lunch session with MGs. Are you ready? Yeah. I'll play my next single. Okay. I'm working on this, uh, and it's titled One Love. Okay. And basically, because of the crisis going on around the world, the killing and the wars and all that, it's really. It's really sad yeah. and I sometimes I wish it's not happening in my generation but it's happening and this is the best I could do so I wrote this song one love and working on it on the studio discussing about the video and everything so everything is still in the process and when it's gonna come out it's gonna come out big <laughs> Wait for tomorrow when we have today. Why hide in shadows? Hide away your pain. Tell me who to follow. 
Cause everywhere I look all I see is blind people We all living in sorrow Cause the leaders don't care about their people For me to say where that's wrong or right Cause all we need is love From Nigeria to Algeria From Ghana to Botswana One love All we need is love From the Christians to the Muslims From Indians to Pakistans One love All we need is love all we need is love If thorns and roses Can stay together If rain and sunshine Can share the weather If love is blind Then hate can see Understand this life, but that and better. There's so much to say, there's so much to write about. It's not for me to say where that's wrong. Botswana, one love, all we need is love From the Christians to the Muslims, from Indians to Pakistan One love, all we need is love All we need is love So we say, Mama Africa oh. Mama Africa, hey, send down the rain Wash away this pain that I've been feeling Oh yeah, send down your healings We need love all over the world One love, so why wait for tomorrow? second song and it's titled as long as you love me uh this is one of the wonderful songs in my upcoming album and i hope you guys enjoy
I took a smile and turned it upside down What am I doing? What's wrong with me? Why am I breaking this life I live in? Am I be stupid? Are you still here? It only means one thing that you really care I might be stupid, I might be broke I might be everything you never know I might be hopeless, I might be stoned I might be someone else you never know But still yet you love me As long as you love me you love me as long as you love me you got me saying oh 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 my baby girl you know oh 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 baby girl you know baby girl you know I would not let you go Thank you so much for taking your time out to do this today. I really appreciate it. And hopefully we can do this again when you're big, big, big. I mean, even bigger than Jay-Z. <laughs> of course, I really enjoyed myself today. Uh, it was fun. So, of course, I'm going to do it again. And hey, guys, keep watching Infinity TV because it's here to stay. There's something about the city That made me want to come visit and I'm studying here, I'm doing my course And I really, really love this town And I don't want to go, I've been around for a really, really long while And I just want to say that I love